Hey guys, Monty here. Happy 4th of July. Today's a day where you need to show your allegiance. So, repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the Monty of the United Monties of America. And to this Monty, I give all my treats forever and ever, and ever 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 and ever, and ever. Monty T T T T. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Happy 4th of July. <laughs> I am out with Monty. He's sporting his little top hat. And we are gonna celebrate the 4th of July today. We're gonna do a little fun in the sun. Things you should be doing on the 4th of July. We're gonna sip on some beers. We're gonna grill some food over the fire. We're gonna go fishing, do some swimming. Have some fun, fun in the sun. So we don't have too much further to go. I've just got a little bit more paddling to do and then I've got a portage and we should be on the lake where we're hoping to stay tonight. We're actually heading back to the exact spot that I was last year for the 4th of July. It's just a nice spot and uh, it's seeming like the bugs are pretty bad. I thought for some reason that I had beat the bugs and I was so far from wrong. <laughs> I just This is the first time I've been camping since my uh, 7 night, my 8 day. Seven nights, eight days, same thing. But yeah, this is the first time I've been camping and I thought for some reason, you know, we just had a really late spring this year. So the bugs are still like they were. The mosquitoes are like the June swarm and it's July, so. So I mean that, you know, it is what it is. Bad bugs mean good fishing, so I'm hoping we'll have some fun catching fish. Anyways, we're definitely gonna be relaxing in the sun. Monty already went swimming. Ooh, there's a pike. I would have, I would take a camera shot of that, but he swam by too fast. Anyways, Monty's warm. I'm not gonna make him wear this hat the whole time. He doesn't mind. <laughs> he doesn't bother him right now, so he can leave it on. But uh, yeah, we don't got too much further to go, and we'll take care of this porridge and get to that lake. But he's gonna be doing lots of swimming today. That's for sure. Monty, what's wrong with your hat? <laughs> Monty. Oh no! It is a hot one today. Oh, got him. Dang, horse flies. These are the easy ones. These ones I don't mind. These horse flies are like the little black tips and they get the weird eyes. Those don't bother me. They, they bug me when they're in swarms, but those ones are easy to get. It's the sand flies. Oh. Those ones I just despise. They're little ankle biters and they're so hard to get. And the mosquitoes, I'm, not, I'm mostly worried about the mosquitoes this trip around. 
I don't know if there's really sand flies here. There might be a few, but anyways, it's hot. We're gonna be on the water a lot. We're gonna do some swimming. Um, I'm having issues with these flags. I thought just one strip of duct tape would work. I'm sure this is Funk's boat, if you'd notice, because the red, I've got the dry bag that's blue. I'm sure it's white. I've got red, white, and blue. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, I thought one strip, so we're gonna have to readjust, fix it up, put more duct tape on. It's gonna take me a little bit to get that duct tape off her boat <laughs> if the sun kicks it on, but just some goo gone, it should work. But anyways, yeah, I have to, re I have to fix the flags. I already had to take one off. They keep bumping sticks and stuff. So we'll get those taken care of when we get to camp. So we're getting close to our portage here. That breeze feels nice, real nice. Come on, Monty. Come on this way, Monty. Oh, he's being unreasonable. He's leading the way. What you doing there, Monty? I fixed the flags. I had to. I had to carry them. They just kept popping off. Hi, Monty. Monty has just been swimming on his own. Every time we get to the porridge or any time there's water, he's just going up to, he's just swimming around. It is hot. I am dripping sweat. This breeze feels so nice. I think the first thing we're gonna do when we get to camp, needless to say, is swim. I'm gonna just jump right in. Free balling. Right, Monty? He's a little otter. Monty Phelps back there. Oh, it feels good to be out here. That porridge wasn't long, but man, this is sweaty. And as far as deep goes, we're, uh, the gloves are off for D. We're, we're using D. I'm not, the mosquitoes are bad right now, especially in the shade. Not on the lake or where it's sunny, they're not really that bad. They're still out, but when you get in the shade, they're, they're attacking. So I am just coating myself in D. I'll go swimming multiple times. I'll swim right before bed, wash myself off. That's, that's the main reason I don't use D is because when you're already sticky and sweaty, it's just not fun to put on. It drips into your eyes and whatnot. So I'm gonna slow down for Monty here, but. You good boy, Monty? Are we gonna go for the dog park? You wanna treat at the dog park? <laughs> you always do, Monty. You always do. Oh. Ah. All right, we got to the campsite. I am just dripping sweat. So first things first, I need to swim. Free, free of any clothing. Out in the woods, right Monty? Oh, oh it feels so good. Oh, it feels nice. Oh man, it's like bath water, Monty. Oh, you swimming with me, Monty? You wanna race? Don't don't scratch me. Don't scratch. Hey, Monty, stop it! Hey, don't scratch me. Hi, Monty. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Oh man. It is just gorgeous out right now. This water feels so good. Oh, Monty. Hi. There's probably a good chance I'm gonna swim multiple times. My undies are a little sticky. I might be free balling after this. I'll be free. Free ballin', ballin', ballin'. I'll be free. Free ballin', Monty. Monty. Monty's got a buoyant booty. You can go to land, Monty. It's okay. I'm fine. 
unless you just like swimming with me. Is that what it is? You just like me so much that you just want to swim around with me? I bet that's what it is, Monty. I guess now we can set up camp and whatnot. I just had to do that. Oh, I'm gonna probably be swimming multiple times. It's okay, I brought out like three towels because I knew I was gonna probably be swimming. It's like 75 out. It's hot, super hot. I'm coming, Monty, don't worry, I'm coming. Monty, do you not like the horse flies? I don't think Monty likes the horse flies. <laughs> There's a lot of them out. He got a couple of them, he chewed them up. Get him, Monty, you show him. Show them not to mess with the Monty. Oh man, the horse flies are rough right now. They're not really getting us yet. They're just kind of flying around at us, but Monty is going nuts. They're not really biting him or attacking him or anything. They're like flying around his face and he just doesn't like them. <laughs> oh, he got one. He just ate one. He keeps eating them. Oh, that swim felt so good. Okay, first things first. I got myself some PBRs, Paps Blue Ribbons, because they're red, white, and blue. It's not the craziest, best exotic beer, but you know what? It's gonna do, it's gonna be ice cold. All right, Monty, we need to make this place look a little bit more patriotic, a little more 4th of July-like, what do you say? it up. Okay. Uh-oh, these things are chintzy. Hey, they're spinning at least. This flag is not what I thought it was going to be. It's just a, a flag with no holes. Well, there's a little hole. Well, there's a hole in there. Does it have two holes or just one? It just got one little hole. Oh, there it is. It's two holes. Okay. There's two little holes. I guess I'll just tie it up like this. It needs a paracord. Oh, well, we've got ourselves a rat's nest. Never fails. If only there was a way to store your paracord so that you didn't have a rat's nest, you know? If only there was a way that I could learn. I'm not saying, I'm not saying there isn't a way. Just there isn't a way that I'm willing to learn yet. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a middle-aged or young man stuck in his ways. I can't say old man and I can't say middle-aged man. I'm still, I'm, I'm still young. So, you know. Flag's hung. It's not really, it's not really flying the best. Should have got a flag pole, but hey, you know what? It gets the, it's there. We've got some ribbons. 
these will will help wear this or weigh this down at least. There we go. That works. Hey. We'll do this one uh, over here. Why not? We got the odd guy out. Just to have some more colors over here. Can't probably even see this one, but you know, this one will be for just me when I'm on the lake all by myself and there's no one else around. I'll know it's there. I'll see my campsite from, you know, across the lake. <laughs> all right. Hey, we got ourselves a patriotic campsite. Donkey dokey. Oh, let's set up our cool or our let's set up camp. Set up camp. So you'll notice I have a new dry bag here. And the whole reason I got it is because it's blue for this video. You know, because I got the red boat, the white t-shirt, and the blue, red, white, and blue. So that's the only reason I got this brand new expensive dry bag. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um what it is is two reasons. There's two reasons I got a new bag right there. One is I messed up Funk's dry bag. We had the, this is still the Mech Slog. It's the same dry bag as I always use the orange one. Um, but I messed Funk's up and I've been using, or I messed up mine and I've been using hers. That's what it is. I didn't mess hers up. I messed up mine and I've just been using her bag. And uh, so I had to replace it while I get the other one fixed and I just, you know, I didn't want to wait around, and on top of that, they did some major improvements to the bag. They actually have, um, the reason mine broke is because the straps were these metal buckles, and it, when you lift up, it like pulls and bent, but they fixed that, and now the back is adjustable. It's way sturdier and way cushier, and just all around better straps. So you know what? And on top of that, they used to make them only in the orange, yellow, and black. Now they come in blue and green. So, I wanted one, okay? Had to replace hers. I can give a million excuses, but you know what? What's done is done. I got another one, and when I get mine fixed, who knows, maybe I'll give it away someday. You know, when I fix the other one, I'll, it's, it's still perfectly fine, it just needs to be fixed. And, you know, I take friends camping anyways, and I lend stuff out and whatnot, so it's, it's gonna get used. It's definitely gonna get used, and it's a great pack. And sometimes I like, you know, I might even use that for my food bag from now on so that I don't have to pack it so tight. Who knows? Anyways, I got a new blue bag. Blue's my color. Blue here. Monty's likes blue. is a little blue rain pouch. Blue's our color. We're blue. We're blue. Daba dee daba. Won't go there. Doo doo doo. -do. <laughs> uh. Blue, blue, blue. So yeah, I don't think it's supposed to rain. It's pro it's one of those days that's like super hot and um, it could rain. If there's some dark clouds floating around and it could just be spotty, it could form. The mosquitoes are not as bad as I thought, to be honest. Um, I thought they would be swarming me here, but they're really not. This is more of an open spot. Near swampier spots would be really bad. But it's really not that bad right now. I'm surprised. When I was doing that portage right there, it was pretty bad. Just cause uh, I was sweating. I was dripping sweat, man. It was, it's, it's warm out. I'm just like, now that I, uh, ooh, it's a fuzz. Now that I jumped in the lake, I bathed, I bathed. Now that I did that, I'm kind of just moving slow, keeping my cool. Had to air out my undies and stuff. I'm, I'm definitely gonna be jumping back in that water. It is just too hot. I know some some of you guys like I got a bunch of comments saying in the one of my winter camping videos it was like 30 out and I was saying it was warm and you guys are like oh when it gets below 70 it's chilly well it's 75 right now and I'm on the verge of not even being able to handle it I just I oh 75 is too hot I'm cool with my 50 50 degrees is like the perfect temperature for me for camping and being outdoors 
50 degrees is so good. You can just wear like a t-shirt and you can move. You don't sweat, you stay nice and just tempered. Just perfect. I'm a fan of 50 degrees, 50, 55. I can do 62, that's good temperature, but 50 to 60, that's, that's perfect. That's my ideal range. 50 if it's hot and sunny. 50 if it's sunny, I mean. I guess, yeah, 50 is hot. That's hot. But th again, then this is nice for uh, swimming, you know? I wouldn't be swimming like this as enjoyably if it was colder. But I guess that is the one huge upside to this temperature is jumping in that water. Monty's just chillaxing. He's got his bandana on. Hi, Monty. He's settling down. For some reason, uh, the horse flies are leaving us alone. They're not as crazy. I don't know if that's just because just being out of the sun. Seems like when we're near that water, they're way worse. Honestly, I'm not getting, <laughs> there's not many bugs getting me right now. I mean, I'm completely clean. Maybe that has something to do with it. No sweat and whatnot. They're just kind of like, oh, that guy's too clean. I want a sweaty, angry person that's breathing, huffing, and puffing. Oh, we're going to catch some fish. I'm confident. There's a 100% chance we're sleeping with this rain fly off tonight. Definitely. And if it, uh, if it rains, we'll just throw it up in the middle of the night. I'll, I'll hook it up and everything, and that's what, that's what I like to do. Okay, I just realized I'm not multitasking. What am I doing? I haven't been camping in a month, and I'm losing it. Monty, I'm losing it. Why are you following your own, aren't you, huh? Huh? bugs are back. Why'd you do that? Why'd you chase me with... What? Huh? It's too warm to do that. Oh man. Now that this is all set up, the rain fly, I'm gonna take it all off, leave the stakes there and everything, so that if it rains in the middle of the night, I don't have to deal with putting it on, you know? I've mentioned this before and I've done this before. So I leave everything but one side in, so I can't really go anywhere. And you just flip it off, and then if I wake up in the middle of the night and I start to feel rain or hear rain, 
I run up, throw it over, clip it on. Good to go. I'm a pretty light sleeper anyway, so. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put my crap in here, get it all sorted. We've got three, three and a half hours of light left, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do when I'm done getting set up. Maybe we're gonna go for another swim before we go out. Maybe we'll just get on the water and go fishing. Maybe we'll throw Monty a stick. Who knows? Fourth of July. It's the fourth of July! Woo! Yeah, and if you're worried about me being noisy, don't. There was no cars at the place. There's only one campsite on this lake. So, uh, I get to be as noisy as I want. Swimming round two. Hi, Monty. Hi, Monty, hello. <laughs> Whoa, jeez, don't call me, Monty, ow. How could you do that to me, Monty? How could you? Huh? Hi! Hi, dude! What's your ratio? Oh, it feels good! It feels good to swim! The bugs are out, Monty! Hi, Monty! <laughs> Hi, dude! Hi! That's a good boy. I'm just out enjoying the water. Oh. Man, this water feels so nice. Oh. oh. I'll probably swim one more time, but maybe not. Who knows? Every time I get a little bit warm or sweaty, I jump right back in. I'm, that's what I'm gonna keep doing. <sighs> what, what do you think? You want a stick? You want to fetch a stick? Get him, Monty. Oh, I gotta stay in the water or dry off. When you're wet, these horse flies, they'll get you. Ah. So yeah, camp's all set up for the most part. Gotta get some firewood, that's about it. Everything seems pretty dry. Um, it's not insanely dry, there's definitely a low, um, fire danger's low right now. But it's not like super moist, it's just green. It's very green. Why'd you give me that stick? Get him, Monty. Oh. Good job, Monty. I'm gonna steal it from you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, my horse riders. Oh, you win. Oh. It doesn't taste very good. It tastes like stick. Oh, you got to do the arm dance with these horse flies. It's this new dance. Why aren't you doing the fly dance? Good boy, my T. Oh. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw the stick for a little bit more for Monty, and then uh, I'm gonna dry off. I think we're gonna do some fishing. Catch some fish.
Good boy. Okay, so Monty doesn't have any cushy. I took it uh, out because his that pad is it's a it's actually got R value, so it's hot. It's holding in the heat and it's insulating him from the bottom of the boat, which has the lake water, which will cool him down. You know, suck away a little bit of his body heat, so he won't be so hot in the boat. And he he doesn't mind baking the when he's soaking wet. Anyways, he likes getting dry. Monty doesn't. He he likes once it gets in the water, he loves it but he doesn't really like being wet afterwards. He loves it while he's swimming and cooling off, but then he wants to be dry ASAP. And that's something he can't do very fast. He's a very slow dryer. Slow drying. Oh, I feel good. I feel refreshed. So today what we are gonna try is, I'm gonna try the black twister tail. I've been using this a lot lately more than the white because I read somewhere that um, large mouths like things that are more, they have better like low light vision, I guess is what uh, I was reading. And so they like darker colored lures that are more natural looking. And I've always, I've always thought that the white thing does not look like anything natural. It does not look like any sort, I mean, it is just like an albino minnow. It's just, it's bright and flashy. And this still works, these fish will bite it. But I think the picky ones don't. And that's where the black one looks definitely more like a minnow or a leech or just something dark and more natural looking. So, we're gonna stick to the black for now, see how it does. If we have, you know, I'm thinking the fishing will be decent, so. Either way, even if I use just the white, which the white works always fine. Okay, we can't have our next beer until we catch a fish. That's the rule. That's the name of the game. Or at least a bite, because I'm gonna go leaderless. I know there's pike in here, but I'm using my ultralight four pound test. It's not an ultralight rod, it's a light. Oh. Ow. I, might, I poked myself in the lip. But this rod, it's not an ultra, it's a light with a brand new reel. Brand new reel, brand new rod. I'm getting to try this thing out for the first time. I'm like pretty excited. Pretty excited. Hoping, uh, I see I use, I've been using this uh, right here. This is a five foot ultra light. And man, that is a, it is so much fun to catch medium-sized fish on it is just a blast even big pan fish it's a lot of fun so i decided to get another one that's a little bit longer but i've been just lately i've just been loving the ultralight or the light line the four pound test i used to use 10 pound all my life 10 pound mono and i've just kind of been having a lot of fun with the lighter line and i feel like the fish have less chance to see it i can cast my lures twice as far so it's just been a lot more fun so I was like, hey, now I'm gonna get, I need a second one to do what I've always done. But we're gonna try to get, ah, there's really no shade yet. Oh yeah, I can cast it so far. We're just gonna work this drop off. Normally, like, I don't like a breeze when I'm fishing, but this is just like a perfectly, perfect breeze. It's just, just enough to where it's keeping the bugs off and keeping us cool down but not enough to where it's blowing us insane. There we go. Fish already. This, oh, dang it. That was a bass. That was a bobby. Dang it. I could have had my brewski number two ski. All right, so he was in pretty shallow, right at the edge of the shade and the lily pads. Anyways, this breeze is nice and when I'm, if I'm just like trying to fish a certain spot, you know, the breeze isn't as enjoyable with no weight, like just Monty and me, but we're cruising along this drop off, so it's not a big deal. Maybe I should fish, maybe I should go the other way and fish away from the, the sunlight, because right now looking at it, it's just not very fun. Oh, yeah, that's, that's why. Just hooked a tree. Dang it. 
There goes a lure. I'm not getting that one back. I don't have many of these black ones. Hmm. I have a lot of the black twister tails, just not the black jig heads. Let's see if I can... There's a chance I can reach up and get this one out. I don't want to lose it. I can see it. Stand up. Monty, don't don't rock the boat. I don't rock the boat, Monty. Rock the boat. I don't tip the boat over. Ooh. Risky. Not only did I not want to lose my lure, I didn't want to have to retie my line. Guess what? I'm close. And success. Great success. Victory. Good job, Monty. I'm proud of you. You didn't tip us. See, Monty can't squeak when there's no, uh, there's no pad. He's just chewing and licking. Ooh, there's shade up ahead. We're gonna go for that. Yeah, the fish will be definitely be, they'll be deeper sitting in the shade or under lily pads right now. They're not gonna wanna just be sitting in the shallows in the sun. It's just too hot. You want structure. Ooh, and fish nibbles. Nibbles. Shade over here. Oh. Oh, there we go. That's something nice. Ooh. That one was just sinking. Ooh. That's a nice bobby. Ooh, bobby bass. Oh, it's so fun on this rod. That was my first fish on this rod. He's hooked pretty good, it looks like. Ooh. Got four pound test, so I gotta be careful. I don't want to just ream at him too hard. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's a nice one. That's a nice bass right there. That's a good bass. Good old Bobby. Okay. Let's let this good big old Bobby go. We're not keeping fish today. We're just fishing for fun. Hey Monty. All right, so we have earned ourselves another PBR. There we go. Oh, Monty. Okie dokie. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, oh geez. So that guy bit when we were just, um, I was just letting it sink, you know, the drop off just fallen, and he sucked it right up. I thought I had a snag for a minute. I was not reeling in. I think I was adjusting the boat even. We're about to get, so we'll try that again. But yeah, like I said, we're not keeping fish today. We are just fishing for fun. We are grilling. Fourth of July style. Oh, we're not, are we grilling? Like technically there's a grate. Is that, is that classified as grilling? Does grilling go by using a grill? I, I'm assuming it's just, you know, you're grilling when you're using a grill. I'm not using a grill, but we're calling it grilling. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, it is hot. We're gonna float this. I'm gonna cast one more time out here. And then we're floating in this shade. You know, I'm very surprised right now that we are not getting just mauled by horseflies. Knock on wood. 
but they're really not bugging us. Monty's not jumping out. I mean, we've had a couple buzzing around, but they're really just leaving us be. Maybe he saw. Maybe they saw that fish. Oh, we're about to get in some shade. Oh, there we go. Well, this is what I'm talking about. Here we go. Maybe you saw that fish and there was like, no, heck no, that thing will eat us. I guess I don't need my sunglasses on right now. Oh, that helps me see a little bit. Oh, I felt that. Oh, I felt a bite when it was dropping and I had it like raised. I love when you can feel bites like that. You can feel like of the line. Whatever it was, spit it out. So, next fish, we're giving Monty a big old chunk of beef jerky. That's the next, the next reward. We both get beef jerky. So he's relying on me to catch another fish to get a treat. Hey Monty, do you think that it's fair that you're relying on my terrible fishing skills to give you treats? Do you want a treat right now? Do you want a treat at the dog park? Or you need that fly? All right, here's what we're gonna do. Since you're a good boy, and you've done nothing but joy and greatness, you're gonna get some treat, and I'm gonna have to wait till I catch a fish. It's a good boy, it's a good boy. Yeah, you enjoy that. You enjoy that chunk of meat there, Monty. Good boy. Gotta be a fish. Nope, that's a stick. I was gonna say it's not, it's not fighting, but it's not a snag. At least a stuck snag. There we go. That's what you want to do. That's exactly what you want. Oh no. Well, there's no way I'm getting that one out unless it comes out. Ooh, I got it. Cast out and let it sink. I also think what we're gonna do since we've got so much time um, until the sun sets, we've got like two hours still. Maybe a little less than two hours. It's right around there. Right around quarter to ten is when the sun sets. And it won't really get like dark, dark until about eleven. So uh we're probably gonna walk to another lake and just take some casts from shore. Let Monty stretch his legs, because he only got to do the short portage, so he likes walking. He likes he 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 loves the portages. Loves them way more than me. Ooh, something just surfaced way out there. Cast at it. I think I can cast that far. Ooh, I was pretty close. So let that sink. But yeah, he loves the portages, so we'll go for a walk and just cast from shore. There's a little pool I know of that uh, might have some fish. Where I'm fishing right now, I've never really caught bass. I don't, oops. You know, of all the times I've fished this place, because it's been a few, I don't think I've ever caught bass where I'm fishing now. Maybe a small, oh. I guess we're gonna put on a 
steel eater. Oh, there's a sand fly. I lose my land line to a pike and then get bit by a sand fly. I'm just getting double whammied right now. That was the first sand fly I've seen. Dang nabbit. Yeah, if I was uh, fishing for a fish dinner right now, I would definitely, I've got my little teeny 30 tooth ounce uh, jig. Yeah, if I was fishing for a dinner, fish dinner, I would be uh, using my little 30 tooth ounce white jig that I've got on my other pole here, this little guy. That thing is a panfish slayer, because I love panfish for fish dinner. Panfish are great. And I can just, they're just definitely active, and I know there's panfish in here. But I've, I think I, I, I have one black head left. I'm gonna save it. We're just gonna use this uh, orange and chartreuse jig head. Should work just as fine. I don't even think the colors necessarily matter that much. They'll still attack the white. Honestly, since I know they'll attack the white, I bet white's gonna fare better. Almost because they can see it. In this sort of lake, I don't think a steel eater matters. But, you know, it's hard to say. I'm not a fish. I don't talk to the fish. I just catch the fish. I catch the fish. I sometimes eat the fish. I sometimes release the fish. Ooh, that was a bluegill. All right, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna go for some bluegills just for fun. It's not so bad catching them on a little ultralight. Let's just do it. Just to prove that if I wanted to, I could catch some bluegills. Whoa. What is that? That was a big splash. Near the shore. Let's cast out. I see something surfacing a lot out here. Whatever splashed over that shore sounded like an animal, not a fish. What in the heck? What the heck? <sighs> okay, so instead of proving that I can catch bluegill with this, I proved that I can't catch bluegill with this. And if I was trying to catch bluegill with this, I would fail. Great job. I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that one. Oh, Monty. I'd like to catch a bass. That, oh, that was a bass. Dang it. I was just talking about how I never catch bass down here. Speak of the devil, that was a bass. I had one on. Right near the edge of all these lily pads. Well, there we go. I didn't catch it. So it still holds true that I've never caught one over here. Oops. Oops. We're going to do a few more casts. Oop. There goes panfish. And then uh, we're probably gonna go for a walk a little bit. Go for a walk to dog park? Oh, dang it, I think that was a bite. There's a panfish bite. These horse flies are so annoying, they just fly around and land on the back. Back of your head. They really bite through my hair. They just buzz around and get in my hair and just. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Oh, the sand fly. He keeps, keeps getting on me. I don't like the sand flies. There's another one. The sand flies are the evil ones. Oh, whatever that was, bit off the tail. I don't know how long I wasn't recording for, but. Oh, the sand flies are over here.
catch one bluegill. Just to prove that this is a good way of catching them. Just to do it. Horse flies are, they're here. Horse flies, sand flies, biting flies, whatever you want to call them. There's a sand fly right there. Ooh, I annihilated him. That's the key with the sand flies, is you gotta give them enough time to feel comfortable to where they start moving their legs. Like they're like, all right, I'm gonna get a, a nice bite here. Really piss this guy off. And then you attack. Got a panfish. Knew we could get him. That's a good size one. That'd be a good eater. He's peeing all over. Ooh, Monty. Monty. Oh, simmer down. All right. There. I wanted to do it just to say I could. Monty. Oh, jeez. All right, now we're gonna troll. I'm gonna throw in a big old spoon and we're gonna troll our way across this lake going for some pike. Going for a big old pike. Dang it, the sand flies have found me going over to that side of the lake, man. They were not, there was none until I went over there. Now there's like a swarm of the sand flies, the ones I don't like. Getting my toes, oh, just attacking. Oh, I hate them. I hate them. I got this big old green and gold spoon on. Ah, oh, get away, get away, get away. Definitely going for a walk now. Get away from these things. Stinkers. No, no, my least favorite flies found me. Ah! Oh man, little turds. These ones will drive you mad. These will drive me mad. I'm just gonna keep my feet moving. Anyways, we're gonna troll along this drop off, letting that spoon go way back. And then, uh, if we get anything, we get anything. If we don't, we don't. You know, that's how it is. At least what we're gonna do is go for a little walk. Definitely now, I'd rather get bit up by mosquitoes than these things. I do not like these ones. They don't respond to bug spray or anything. They're evil, very evil. We got something. That's definitely a fish. Oh, it's on the surface. It's gotta be a bass. <laughs> the big old spoon worked. I was hoping for a nice big pike, but hey, I'll take a bass. This isn't the uh, correct hardware for a nice big pike anyways four pound test that <laughs> wouldn't end very well. <sighs> Maybe it's still a pike. It's staying down whatever it is. Oh, it's still a pike. Hey. Is that a monster? Let's let this guy free. Oh, 
Okie dokies, we got ourselves a Peter and a Bobby. I would like some more Bobbies now, or Big Peters, we're, but we're, we're at the portage, so we're gonna take a walk and uh, escape these ankle biters, what I'm calling them, sand fly stinkers. I very much dislike them. But yeah, we're gonna take a walk, and maybe we'll have Monty swim when we get, get back. We've got at least another hour of light left. So we'll just take a walk, take a few casts, come back, do some more fishing here as the sun sets. Probably catch it on the lake. Then we'll spark up a fire and get cooking. I didn't collect firewood yet, really, so we don't need a crazy fire tonight. But we need something to keep the bugs away. That's for sure. Oh, my little, my little friends, the ankle biters, are following me. They're definitely following. And yeah, we're getting bit up by mosquitoes. This may have not been the best idea, but we were getting mauled by those guys, so. Oh, I should have brought bug spray. I didn't bring it. Bad idea. Okay, a very grave mistake was just made. We were heading back. Um, there was like a mucky spot, and it's, oh, as soon as I stepped through that, a swarm of mosquitoes found us, so I am just, doing the exact opposite of what I was trying to do, escape some bugs. I thought the mosquitoes wouldn't be as bad. Oh, they are getting me right now. They are just mauling me. I have no bug spray on, I'm completely clean. And they are just relentlessly attacking. So, we're getting back on the water on the other side. Oh, <laughs> ah, Monty. Oh, I need bug spray. Or we're just, we're not going here. Monty got his walk in, that's good enough. We're going back. Well, I win the Genius Award for the year. I win the 4th of July Genius Award. I dropped my sunglasses when I was running away from the mosquitoes. So we're going back. We're going back. <laughs> oh man, I hope I didn't drop them in the muck. What are those? Good job. Right where I turned around. Good job, Monty. I guess we're gonna go take some casts. That was all worth it. Oh, don't tell me that. You... Good thing I brought uh, my lures with. Snagged a stick or something. Let's try that one again. Another Bobby. There we go. Aha. Ooh. Let's let this guy free. Let's take a few more casts here, and then we'll head back. What? <laughs> oh, no money. <laughs> oh, and I got a fish. I got a fish while fighting the horse flies off his face. Ooh, this one's nice. <laughs> It's our fourth bobby, but the third in this spot. Quit barking. Right now. Stop it. 
just won't stop. I think there is nothing there but woods and wilderness and bass. Bass after bass. Lots of bass. That's what we got, Monty. <sighs> bass after bass. It's near impossible for me to walk away when the fishing's like this. Just cast after cast. I just can't do it. It's not in my blood. It's not, it's not part of my genetic makeup to walk away from good fishing. It's something I just cannot do. I just can't do it. But you give me five casts with no luck, I'm out of here. I'm out. Oh! That was a pike. And I didn't put it on a steel eater because I'm stupid. <laughs> Dang it. Dang nabbit. Get over here. You do not bark like that, mister. There is nothing there. You, don't you do it. Don't do it. Monty? Monty? You stop that. You stop that right now. See, Monty? I'm trying to catch a bass. Bass after bass. I'm a bass master right now. Bass master. Faster. They're not huge, like I said, but hey, this is fun. <laughs> this is totally worth it. I'm having way better fishing than over there. You know, I would have done a fish cam for that guy, but uh, he willed his way out of my hands. <laughs> he, he, he flopped back and forth really hard in his slippery little bugger. He got free. There's nothing I could do. I was like, oh, well, you earned it, buddy. Now he thinks, instead of being let go and like realizing, you know, that sometimes you get caught and you're free, now he thinks he escaped death. So in his brain, he's just like, I did what I had to do. So he's gonna be a feisty bugger when he grows up. Grows up, he gets big. Yeah, they're digging this black. Okay, two more casts if we don't catch any, actually, we're just going to do two more casts, even if we get a fish, we're going to head back, because the sun's about to, it's getting close to the horizon, it's going to set. There's still a couple more spots we've got to try at the other lake, our last cast. Alright, one more for good measure, one more for good measure. That was a good one, I was right on the edge. Oh. Maybe the bug sprays were it? Oh no, it's those. Oh, dang it, I had a bite too. <sighs> Turds. Oh, something was falling it. There we go. Just had to get one more. Just one more, you know. Just one more quick bass. Well, this guy got caught in some weeds. I got him out. You gotta be careful, especially with this four pound test. All right. I don't know how many bass that was. That was at least, at least six. Six bass, at least. Maybe seven, eight, I don't know. I'll know when I go edit this footage. Let's let this guy go. Mr. Bobby here, Bobby number 15 probably. Anyways, we're gonna let him go and then we're gonna head back. Okay, the sun is just about to pass. You can see it probably Probably barely just as behind the trees now. I'm 
know if you can see it back there. But yeah, it's behind the trees. So we're just gonna cast our way back to camp. We're not gonna go too crazy. I'd like another big fish. Another 18 inch plus bass. I don't have a steel eater on, <laughs> which is dumb, but for some reason, I feel like if we catch something, it's gonna be a bass, not a pike. Not got one. It's peaceful. I got some wood I grabbed in the boat along that portage. There was just some nice dried maple, nice seasoned wood. I couldn't help but carry it back. There we go. Oh, I felt the bite, but it didn't like take it. He just nipped. Oh, look at this guy. It's Bobby Jr. <laughs> you little turd nugget. What are you doing? What are you... What are you doing? Bite my lure. Are you crazy? Things bigger than you are. Oh, we've got a nice tree. Oh, that's just a nice tree. Queets. Oh, bluegill. I always tell bluegill bite. They don't. Well, there's a whole bunch of them. Little guys. Got a tree right here. Ooh, that was pretty good. I'd be surprised if I don't catch a fish here. <laughs> oh, he got off. That wasn't a huge bass, but it was still a bass. I knew it. I cast it right near this log we're about to pass. He spit it out. Dang it. Two more casts right here and then we're gonna zip over to a spot that's usually got some nice bass. You know, since we've only got like, we're only gonna fish for like 15, 20 more minutes most. I'm not gonna stay out till it's dark out. It's just gorgeous out right now. And uh, not cold at all. It's very, it's, it's actually like, Perfect out right now. That's a nice one. Let him go. See you later, dear Bobby. Nice visiting with you. Uno mas fish, por favor.
I don't know the Spanish word for fish. So that was a... Maybe it's fish. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, another puppy. Ooh, yeah, you pull, you go, you get him, Bobby. You get, you get him. You're, you, got him. I got quite the hook on you. Ooh, he's feisty. He's a feisty Bobby. There we go. All right. Bye, bye, Bobby. Bye, bye, little guy. All right, let's. Few more casts, just a few, just a few more. You know, if you're one of those fishermen that uh, you know keeps catching fish and the bite's really good, and you can just stop, that takes some willpower. I mean, because I I can't. I, it don't happen. It just don't happen. If they keep biting, I keep casting, and I can't help myself. Now, if it was like, I could see if it was just like, you know, I'm catching like teeny panfish after teeny panfish or teeny pike after teeny pike or just teeny bass. If they're like super small, yeah. But I got this light, light rod here. It's fun. Each fish is fun. Maybe I should toss the ultralight. That's super fun. That thing just bends over in half. I think this one's like the perfect balance. The ultralight has no, like, even with panfish, like when you try to set the hook, <laughs> it's very soft. So we're not we're not gonna fish for too much longer. If I if I get skunked for like ten casts in a row, then we'll be done. Don't skunk me! Come on, fish! We haven't had a bite in like 10 casts, so it's time to pack her in. Monty would appreciate it. And then we can enjoy a little bit of the sun, the disappearing light back at camp. All right, we're just going to go over There's just some lily pads. I just need to cast on these a couple times. And then, then we'll go back. Don't tell Monty. Don't tell Monty. Just so peaceful, Monty. Okay, two more casts. Official for seriousness. Two more casts. That's what we're gonna do. That's it. I'm actually gonna stick to it this time because it's for Monty. It's for Monty. I don't know why it's for Monty, but it is. One more for good measure. This just, just looked like a nice spot. I can't help myself. Let's pack her in for the day. That was we had a good day of fishing. Good Fourth of July fishing. If I can get away with just breaking up some sticks and not processing any up. Oh yeah, we'll be fine.
Come here, Monty. Come here, Monsieur. The great Monty. You wet doggy. You are wet. You are a wet dog. And you must be dried. Oh, you're very wet. You're a very wet doggy. Yes. Yes, you are. Simmer down now. Simmer down. Simmer down. Simmer down. You just like it dry, don't you? Oh. He still has a towel dry. Watch out, that's a fire. You'll burn right up in a fire. Okay. I know, this is the worst. I'll do it, I'll just be very gentle and just do light. It's just to, you know, just to loosen things up. Get some of that moisture out of there. This one's not as bad as the other brush, hey Monty? I'm gonna get that booty, oh, all those leaves in your butt. It's a good wet butt boy, all right. You're good. Go ahead, Monty, you're good. Good boy. Good boy. Do you want more? Do you want this? You want more of this? I don't need to keep doing it. You want this, Monty? You want this? The only other way to keep going is if I flip you on your back, Monty. He doesn't seem to mind. He's kind of just like asking me for more brushing, which is strange. Normally he can't be, he's super happy to be done. He's gonna need a bath, no matter what I do after this. He's a stinky dog right now, he's stinky. All right, you're good. You're good enough, Monty, that's good enough. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the epic fireworks show. You're doing so great. Woohoo! Well, I couldn't even. Well, these don't last very long, Monty. Be amazed. Amazing. Danger, wow. Oh, Monty. What a fireworks show, hey? It's like, Dad, that was probably the lamest fireworks show I've ever seen. Monty, what do you say we step things up a bit? Okay. Let's see what happens.
Okay, one more. Oh. <laughs> I did it. Hi, Monty. That was a fireworks show, huh? <laughs> Look at this guy. So, uh, for those of you that watched my 4th of July video from last year, you'll notice that uh, that fireworks show you just saw was the same one as I used last year. It's the same one I did last year. And there's two reasons for that. The first reason is that you can't shoot fireworks out in the wilderness area like this and uh, yeah, shooting projectiles. I, I did the sparklers. That's about all I can do. Okay, I can't make a racket. I'm not. I'm not going to make a racket. Like, I'll have me me yelling la 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 or barking. Monty's barking, but I'm not going to shoot mini bombs out here. No, that that could be heard from lakes away and stuff. So I'm not doing that. And uh, yeah, you'd be shooting trash in there. So th that's something I'm not willing to do. So that's the first reason. The second reason is that what I did in that video was pretty stupid. <laughs> Shooting those mortars off, you know, like two feet in front of my face. <laughs> and the little satellite things, like that's not smart. So I'm not gonna probably do that again. Maybe, maybe what, I, what I'd like to do is uh, actually shoot it on a private lake. That's the only way I can sh actually shoot those kind of fireworks from my canoe is if I I'm on a private lake because I looked into the rules of shooting fireworks from your boat and it's just not legal unless you own the lake so man you know next year if someone's got a private lake and they want me to they want to allow me to you know shoot fireworks from my canoe in it I'll do that but uh, until then we're just gonna reuse this clip because it's pretty funny that turned out pretty good and yeah it was some dingleberry moves the mosquitoes are out. If I was, they are just like swarming. If I was not near this fire, they'd be worse, but they're already bad. They're pretty bad. I'm about to put on some more DEET or something because they are getting me. We're going to start cooking soon. I'm hungry. Okay. I'm putting on some more st bug spray. Okay, so I just put on, I have that, uh, what is it? essential oil bug spray I want it to work I've been trying and uh, so far no luck it hasn't really worked worked and I got the stuff that's for Monty it's dog spray for or it's it's bug spray for dogs and uh, he hates it I squirt it on my hands and he knows he just like he doesn't like the spray I'm sure he can pick that up the smells but I'm seeing I rubbed it a little bit on his ears and on his nose because that's the only place they can get him. Uh, Monty is completely protected because of his thick fur other than his nose and just the thin stuff on his face right right along his nose. That's pretty much it. But you were gonna, I just coated my ankles. I'm just really curious if this stuff works at all or if it's like a zero percent thing because these are vicious mosquitoes. Not much is gonna work for them except for deep. deep DEET works. It, it works. You know, if you don't want to get eaten up by mosquitoes, use some DEET. See, they are... I just sprayed it right there and they are going for it. They just went through it and he just landed on my pants. The only reason I don't like DEET is because it makes you feel really sticky and it's like muggy hot out right now. And don't really feel like coating myself. Yeah, this stuff isn't working. I just sprayed it. Fresh sprayed it on my ankles here. And these mosquitoes are just going, they're ignoring it. Whew, they are bad right now. So I'm gonna have to probably spray on some more DEET. Unfortunately, I don't like to, but I guess I'm already sticky anyways and I can go swimming again. I might even put some on Monty's ears because that's where they bug him. You can't really see them. Can you see them? Not nah, barely. But the mosquitoes are out. They are out in full force right now. And they are just going through my socks. Okay. And it's too warm, especially being, I'm not even that close to the fire, but it's heat. 
it's it's too warm without the fire so being near it, it's just like way too warm all right i'm gonna put on some deet i'm gonna finish this beer first and then i'm gonna put on some deet so we've got a nice coal bed i'm gonna throw on some fresh wood and we are gonna get to grilling so what we are having for dinner today is a fourth of july classic for me now i was gonna do bacon cheeseburger but the thing is, is i recently ate a homemade bacon cheeseburger so I wasn't exactly craving it. Now, don't get me wrong, it would have been delicious again, but there is something that I have not had in a, in a pretty long time that's a classic grill meat. And it's the exact same thing I had last year. Brats. I'm gonna put some brats, and I've got some shredded pepperoncinis, and some cheddar cheese slices, not American cheese, cheddar cheese slices. And then I got out some crappy Lay's classic potato chips. So we're having brats and chips. And uh, I was I was so close to getting a watermelon. What was that? That was a weird noise. It sounded maybe it was just it was a normal noise, but the way I caught it after I was done speaking it sounded weird. But Monty doesn't seem to care. Anyways, yeah, I was going to get a watermelon. And I wish I would have had some potato salad that I made. I could have bought some, but I don't. I don't like store-bought potato salad. I like making it myself. And I just wanted a classic. But we're just doing brats and chips. We're keeping it simple. Okay, now while I think it would be fine, probably, I don't know what was cooked on, on this grate. So, I'm going to just put down tin foil. And it'll help keep the grease from squirting out all over the fire. So I am gonna eat four of these. And we're gonna give precious, sweet, innocent, tired Monty one. Because I'm bigger than him, and one will be fine. Okay, well, look at that. He's so smart, he's sitting near the smoke. I don't think he's doing it on purpose because he doesn't like smoke, but he's at least near the smoke. We're going to give him his dinner while ours is cooking. He doesn't need to wait for the brats to eat. You know, he'll, he'll have dinner and then he's going to get a treat afterwards. Oh, look at that. He's moving. Monty's moving in. Got out his magical pumpkin powder. Of course, Monty. I would never, it's kind of bad guys right now, I won't lie. Um, I've at least toned down the amount I give them at home, but I give him this stuff a lot. He gets, he gets pumpkin powder a lot, so he's kind of, he'll eat without it. That's, that's the main thing, he'll still eat without it, but you add this in there, and look at him, he's a creature. He's a little little following you around creature all right now show them all how you ask permission to eat your food Monty see he he knows to ask but he knows he needs to SIT first good boy go ahead go ahead that's a good boy now I'm gonna be honest I had every intention of bringing out the tongs that someone sent me. I just forgot. So now we're going to use flesh tongs. Oh, burn our hands a little bit. Whew. Not bad. Not bad so far. Oh, oh. Put this on the outside. Okay. Ooh, them weenies are roasting now. Oh. Now I wish I had the tongues. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's hot. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. I know what you're thinking. Hey there, Ding Dong, why don't you use some sticks as tongs oh, instead of your fingertips? And you know what? You're right. That's smart. But ah, we're building calluses. Ow. <laughs> okay, I'll get some sticks. I just wish I brought the dang tongs, okay? My bad. Ooh. Oh no. Actually, we can burn them. We can cook them on that side. Hey, that's not so bad. There we go. Oh yeah. Smells like something's burning. Well, they're getting a little charred. That's okay. Ooh, oh, oh jeez, ah oh, jeez, ah oh, jeez, ah oh, gosh, oh no. Whew. Okay, they're getting a little blackened. Not the most ideal, but hey, you know what? I'm still gonna enjoy them. We'll give Monty the least charred one. I'll eat the ch most charred one. Hey, get out of there, fire! No! No! Stop it! These puppy dogs are done. Let's feast. Alright, Monty, you're blocking my light. Come over here, dude. You're gonna get one. Don't worry. You're gonna get one. Don't you worry. Alright, I'm gonna put... I'm gonna use this small piece of tin foil I ripped off here. Is my plate. For preparing these all. For preparing all these. Not these all. I guess these all works. Oops, oop, oh, oh. We got a little dirt on there. That's okay. Okay. And then Monty's gonna get a bun as well. He's getting a he's getting a brat. Dang nabbit. Monty, you're getting a whole brat. Yeah. I'll cut it up for you, but we gotta present it first. You know what I'm saying, Monty? I got some mangled sharp cheddar cheese slices. I'm gonna put in there from the deli. It never hurts to add cheese on there. Monty's not getting cheese. He doesn't need it. But I do. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that cheese. Okay. I'm going to take the most burnt looking ones. Get it on that cheese. Then it'll start melting. Ooh, okay. This one's pretty burnt. All right, Monty, this is yours. <clears throat> now I'm gonna add pepper and chinis. Oh, 
I love these on my brats. Oh yeah. Nothing crazy, just a few. Oops, making a little bit of a mess. That's okay, I'll clean it up. And then last but not least on mine, mustard. I love mustard on brats. Not ketchup, just mustard. So if you don't like mustard, you know what, you do you. On your 4th of July, you eat your hot dogs, burgers, brats, whatever you're gonna eat. You eat it how you eat it. I like my brats coated in mustard. Okay, that is a feast. Monty, I'm gonna cut your brat up here. Let's just cut his up. Shred it up for him. Mix that around for him. Okay. All right, let's eat, Monty. Okay. Oh. Got my little bag of chips here. Open that up. Save my final PBR for this moment. You've been a good boy all day. Do you think you deserve that? You? You want that? You want that. You with a long nose want that deliciousness? Okay, go ahead. Good boy. All right. Mm-hmm. I don't know how on earth I'm gonna eat all four of these, but I'm gonna do my best. The thing is, I won't waste food out here, so. Well, oh my gosh. I won't eat these pepper and cheese that fall down. I'll throw those away. But, if uh, it comes down to it, mm, I'll just lick off the mustard and give them to Monty. That's the worst case, Monty. A whole bunch of these are gonna fall off. Mm hmm. Mm. I don't always like a beer with with my food. I kind of just want water right now. Mm. Mm. Monty, you've had plenty of food. I don't even burping at me? I don't feel guilty in the least bit. Not at all. Not at all. Are you begging? Hmm? Are you? That's despicable. You should be ashamed of yourself.
Oh, these are hitting the spot. I definitely think if I would have brought out potato salad and watermelon that uh, I would have brought out way too much food. I was thinking about bringing out s'mores too. And uh, I thought, you know, four brats would be plenty. So I didn't and I'm glad I didn't because I don't even know if I'm going to get all four of these down. We'll see. But anyways, guys. I'm going to keep stuff in my face here. Seeing how far I can get. Watch the fire burn down. Listen to the bullfrogs. Do whatever they're doing. What's that noise called? Are they... Brooklyn? They're... Brooklyn. They're burping. That's what I'm saying. They're just burping, they have bad indigestion. Just like me. Look at this little statue. He has hope. Anyways guys, I'll check back in if I'm all done. So I ate everything but a little third of a brat. I couldn't get it down. I was just, I don't know. I, I normally could eat four brats, but I don't even need any chips. Oh, one more chip. But I'm full. Not like stuffed, I just like couldn't eat anymore. But I couldn't give them the bread and stuff, so I just threw that away. And I ate off the mustard, so I get is the meat, Monty. He'll enjoy it. So he ate a brat and a half, and I ate three and a half. It's only two brats behind me. <laughs> you already ate that? Go ahead. No, he didn't. He's just like playing with it. Oh, I didn't cut it up for him. That's my bad, Monty. Better chew that. Anyways, I'm just letting the fire burn down now. Had some fun in the sun. I'm actually kind of uh, tired. Surprisingly tired. I, the sun takes it out of ya. So yeah, that and some beer. And I'm tired. I'm ready for bed. With my food. I'm sleepy. I'm full. So I'm gonna let this burn down a little bit here. And then brush my teeth. And we're gonna crawl in the tent and get ready for bed because I'm ready to pass out. So, I will check back in you guys when I'm in the tent. Ready for bed. Go ahead. Good boy. Oh, Monty, Monty, Monty. Well, something has happened. Something bad. Oh, how do I even go to explain this? Um. Well... If uh, you're not ready to get real on this channel yet, you might want to skip forward a couple minutes because it's about to get real. About to get really real. Seriously real. Dangerously real. So, I was brushing my teeth. Minding my own business. And, uh, you know, something. It's completely normal. It happens all the time. And uh, this is just didn't go the way it plan I, I planned. <sighs> Let's just say I chanced to fart and lost the game. <laughs> it happened. Oh no. It wasn't even glorious or anything. It was just shitty. Damn it. 
Oh, I was just brushing my teeth and had a fart come on and <laughs> this fart wasn't so farty. <laughs> Oh man, let's just say the woods are not no longer uncharted territories. <laughs> I got them all day. Oh man. Really glad I had a change of underwear. <laughs> Let the date be known. I was talking about this in my nine night wilderness adventure, how it's never happened to me out in the woods. And I was fearing the day that it did, and I was not expecting today to be the day. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a liar. I don't, uh, you know, hide things, so... When things happen on this channel and it's a catastrophe, they shall be known. I'm not ashamed. I'm not mad, I'm not angry, I'm not sad, I'm just... Why? Why? Anyways, I think that's enough uh, talk about that. Yeah. So, I'm going to pass out now. Monty's... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe I'm a little ashamed. Maybe I'm, I should shamefully go to sleep. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, guys. I will catch you in the morning. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> Monty. Hi, Monty. Hi, dude. Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh, look at him. Hi. You sleep good, Monty. You sleep good, Monty. <laughs> Hi, Monty. Oh, yeah, I slept pretty good. Other than the nightmares I had. About me pretty much pooping my pants. <laughs> Why? Why did that have to happen? <laughs> Monty's not impressed. He's like, don't worry, Dad. I pooped in my pants too. <laughs> Just didn't think it was going to be today. It just came out of nowhere. Must have been that PBR. That's what I'm blaming it on. Because <laughs> I didn't really eat anything that bad. I don't know what would have caused that. Oh, man. Anyways, it's a beautiful, peaceful morning. The bugs are buzzing. The mosquitoes are really bad there. Because I'm so close to this, I'm just like, <sighs> they're just like, um, I don't know, at like 5:30, six-ish. They were there was just a swarm cloud right here. It was insane. There's a lot of them, but they're they're dying off a little bit now. But I'm just gonna spray on some D. I'm not even gonna mess around. Monty, what does your little eye say? What does the Monty see? Alright Monty, let's get up. 
Where'd your ear go? Oh, it's back. Wait. Want you a treat? <laughs> What's your treat? <laughs> I bet you do. All right, let's get up my teeth. Ooh. Our flag stood strong. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's a nice, beautiful morning out there. Nice and calm. Sunny. Hmm, we might have to take a few casts on the way out. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna cast from right here. Why the heck not? Let's start our morning right. Right, Monty? Ooh, that wasn't bad. What do you think, Monty? Am I gonna catch something? Are the mosquitoes getting ya? So in this particular overnighter, I didn't bring my stove, I didn't bring Monty a sleeping bag. You know, I got that new dry pack there, and I'm not sure if that one's actually bigger. I think it's actually a little bit bigger than my other one. Maybe five liters. I thought the other one was 110. I think this one's 115. Maybe it's the same size. I can't, not, now that I think about it, I just can't remember, but there was so much room. I put my water bottles in there. I put my, uh, what else did I put in there that I don't normally put in there? I don't know, I put something else in there too. It was just so much room. Oh, I'm going to feed him actually this to Monty, his pumpkin and stuff at the car because I don't want it, I don't want to feed him a big meal and then have him swim across the lake. Sorry, Monty. You're gonna survive. You'll be just fine. We'll feed you at the car. We can have a, a treat, though. We can have a quick treat. Some beef jerky? Oh, go ahead. Oh, no. This is on count. Speak. 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 That was good. Good boy. Speak. That was a real one. There you go. I'm going to pack up most of this junk here into my bag. And then I'm going to tear down the festivities. And then we're going to get on the water and get to uh, paddling. Do a little portage this morning. Maybe take a couple casts, let the Monty swim a little bit. Okay, okay. All right, let's do it. Man, it's a muggy one this morning. I'm gonna be sweating on the way out. I'm probably gonna wish I could swim on the way out after I'm all done. But you know, I'll just crank the AC in the car. Okay. Okie dokes. She's all torn down, now I just gotta pack up, put that towel in there, and we're gonna get it on the water. I'm gonna put away the DSLR. 
and we're gonna get to get a wet Monty, a real wet Monty. Let's do it. Come on, Monty, let's go. Come on, Monty. <laughs> I think that means I don't particularly want to swim this morning, but I'm going to because I'm a good boy. <laughs> Monty, you're so dramatic sometimes. Good boy. Is that a good boy, Monty? Yes, that is. Take a few casts while I'm ahead of him. His poor little cries. Ooh, there we go, first cast. Oh, it's just a little one. Hey. It still counts though. We had a fish on. Maybe I can catch a fish. Maybe not. Ooh. <laughs> we got our Bobby for the day. Good job, Monty. It's all because you were swimming in the water. Hey, he's not huge, but you know what? Got our daily Bobby. Now let's let him go. Good job, Monty. I caught that fish all because of you. Good job. What's here, Eddie? like a floating reed bed bog thing. And now I'm sinking, almost got a boot full of water. Mucky, stink water, it smells like poop or sharks. we go. Good job, Monty. Whew. My pants are soaked. Going through this uh, tall grass and these reeds was all full of morning dew. And I got soaked. That's okay. I don't care. My, my t-shirt's a little grungy. I'm a little wet and sticky. And there's a horse fly buzzing in my hair. I your fish food. Ha! Ha! I, uh... I think when I picked up my boat to start the portage or my backpack the first time, I did that, oh man, I did, um, I'm not sure what it is exactly, but I think I pinched something, like right in my spine or something or longer, because now like when I turn a certain way, it's just like that shortness of breath, it's just like, <gasps> I keep getting it. I've done this before many times in my life, and I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about, but like, oh, it's making me have shortness of breath every time I pinch it. Doesn't feel good. Oh, it keeps happening right there. Oh, I pinched a nerve or something. Oh. And it's one of those things you can't really like, 
power through her. There's nothing you can do about it. You just gotta give it time. It just, just happened out of nowhere. It hasn't happened in a long time, but it has happened. Hope you're having a wonderful 4th of July. I had some fun last night. We cooked up some uh, good old fashioned grill foods, caught lots of fish. Had some fun in the sun, did lots of swimming. It was a good day, you know. Got to celebrate uh, celebrate the 4th of July in style, you know. Especially with that fireworks show, man. The Ring of Monty, the Ring of Fire around Monty. Well, yeah, we don't very got very far to go, so we're gonna keep paddling. We just got one, one beaver dam to go over, and then uh, a little more paddling, we get to the car. And yeah, it was a pretty good day, other than the, uh, you know, the end of the day. That was an ordeal last night. You know what I'm talking about? I need to stop bringing that up. Grown man pooping his pants, telling the world about it. What's wrong with me? Anyways, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys at the next video. Bye,